What's up, everybody? I'm Rob, the founder of Actili, and today I got the one and only Torsten Rusch with me to talk about Cornerstone's brand new killer feature, Explore. Roll the intro. Let's start with a bit of context. Back in 2002, a whopping 19 years ago, Torsten and I have started our professional careers at the same HR software company in Düsseldorf. We not only share our passion for photography, we also can look back on a similar journey trying to acquire knowledge and expertise on a broad range of skills. While he started as event manager, yes, the physical ones with real people, I joined the company as a developer. We later met in the marketing department, where he got his bachelor alongside a nine to five job and a massive unhealthy amount of energy drink consumption. I believe if you take a blood sample of him today, you will still find traces of that sugar and caffeine. At the same time, I was getting better and better with graphic design and marketing tools in general. When I left the company to move back to my hometown Berlin, he started working in sales. And while he was striving in his new role back in Düsseldorf, I manage a team of graphic designers and web developers. One day, he got the chance to join Cornerstone as a solution consultant. And oh boy, have they made a smart decision here. With his move, he somehow voted for the opposite direction I took. I've joined another company as head of marketing to organize trade shows and sell their IT network security software to companies in the Silicon Valley. I had to think about the young Thorsten many times while I was packing and shipping gear to conference centers. Later, at the time I started my own business, Torsten saw the gap and urgent need, which later became the Octilly you know today, helping organizations to customize Cornerstone to their individual needs. Hi, Torsten, and welcome to the show. Hi, Rob. Really cool. Let's get right into it. Cornerstone Explore. Can you boil it down to three sentences? What is it? <laughs> three sentences are very difficult, but I can try to keep it short. Um, so in general, with Cornerstone Explore, first of all, we want to leverage technology in order to make the learning experience for people more engaging, more relevant, and um, yeah, as easy as possible. Um, and on the other hand, we also want to make sure that we offer people the right careers, leveraging data to understand like what are their skills, where are they coming from. Um, and based on that, we want to make the right assumptions, what could be a very cool next move for your career. Talking about uh, smart moves, I personally believe that it's a smart move to chime in on the perspective that sees skills at the core of the system of work we know today. Can I assume that skills are factually just the glue between people and positions? <laughs> yes, so that, I think that's a very good description. In, in general, I believe skills play a very big role in our in our lives and also for companies because we want to understand like what are the best people to do a project or also for me what are the next skills which i need to uh, move on in my job for example and um, yeah skills are relevant in so many areas of what we are doing so based on that i think it's it's exactly the right move to to take a closer look for me it's important that business leaders get more compassionate with their teams especially in times like these We've been a 100% remote team from the beginning, even before the pandemic hit, and you at Conison are quite remote as well. It seems that just by being home more, I think work and personal life can blend e into each other much better. And not necessarily in a bad way you may think of, but more like, oh, well, I have to do this and take care of that during business hours. Allowing this seems to ease the hassle you typically have as a full-time employee to just get doctor's appointment, for example. And with this, employees typically trade transparency with flexibility, like, hey, boss, we get a new fridge today. I will shift my hours to later in the day. Just a mundane example, but it naturally leads to more knowledge and understanding of uh, the employee's life. You simply get a much more holistic picture. Now, I think in the demos I've seen of Explore, um, You've seen a lot of hard skills in the suggestions for specific jobs. For me, managing a remote team, I know that hard skills are much easier to learn than soft skills. What is your or Cornerstone take on this? So I would like to, to start with my personal take, because I think what you said is, is very true. 
it's very important that uh, we give people the flexibility to thrive in, in nowadays. And um, we need to take a look at different target groups. So for managers, like you said, it's very important to learn how you can keep up with your people, how you can manage a remote, remote team, what are your options from a system point of view, but also on a personal level to, to connect with your people and make sure that they get actually the, the level of transparency, the level of trust, which they expect. Um, and I think if you are able to achieve this, there are many positive things for the organization itself. Because if you build trust as a manager in a difficult environment, such as a pandemic, then this leads to retention of the people. Also, a closer connection to the company and a better working experience in general for the employer and for the people. That's the manager's perspective. But also from the employee's point of view, for me, transparency was never a topic because, I mean, I have my calendar and I put everything in. And luckily with, with Cornerstone, I have an employer who totally understood that trust is absolutely key. And I try to organize my day in the way that it makes sense, it is efficient, that I still can uh, make um, time for the kids if needed. But ultimately, it's it's most important that I get my work done. And so some days could look like that I uh, spend two hours taking care of the kids and then uh, working from uh, 10 to 12 at night. So that's my personal expectation how a job should li look like. And, and uh, this flexibility is something I enjoy. And I think in a, a modern software solution, this also should be something which is taken into consideration, um, that managers have the chance to connect with their people, that employees have the chance to let you know in which direction they want to develop. And um, if you have put in your preferences, then obviously also the learning suggestions, the trainings you, you can take, they should be connected to it. And potentially also your next career move should be tied to this. Awesome. A more technical question. As we've seen with the most recent Cornerstone Convergence and David Mead's appearance as host, his job title, Digital Event Expert, probably didn't even exist a year ago. And he really nailed it on so many levels. I can only validate that for the digital space, where we get a more and more specialized workforce day by day. Um, but how will Explore handle this shift in job titles and career paths? So, yeah, um, I mean, that's that's the big problem we have seen in our client base, um, because many companies thought about which skills are required in a certain job manually. And if you do this manually, you are only able to capture a subset of which skills are really existing. And specifically to cope with what is going on in the market, how are things developing, which skills are coming up, this is something which is very, very difficult if you do this manually because you need a lot of data for this. And I believe um, this is why it makes a lot of sense that we leverage um, data to understand which skills are popping up, how are certain industries are changing, which skills are becoming more important. And that's clearly something we can do with, with Cornerstone Explore, understanding which skills have been added to the system recently. And if we realize that um, those kind of skills are added at multiple organizations at the same time, then we see it and we can add it to our skills taxonomy. And that's how we stay up to date. And I only can confirm from, from our point of view, we are, we are doing sales for a software company. The skill set over the last five couple of years has changed so much because um, Digital skills are, are way more important. Recording videos, making sure that um, you, you can um, connect also digitally, um, doing a good show. Um, that's that's very important. And that's something which is very exciting uh, because you're learning constantly and you're learning new things. And um, I believe that this is very important. But ultimately, back to your question, I think it's very hard to do it manually. You need to trust um, the data and you need to trust the machine. And I think for this, we have a very new approach, which, which is very, very cool. Great. So then I have only one last creative bit. Um, let our minds wander for a minute. If we take the whole idea of skills as the new currency a step further, are you familiar with blockchains like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the Holy Doge? Yes, of um, course. Let's imagine every working adult gets a wallet a skills wallet, and instead of paper certificates signed by Bill Gates, like with all those Microsoft ones, 
back in the day, companies send skills to their employees once they pass specific exams. So all certifications are being paid in skills. Now, people will have a personal digital wallet of all their skills they have acquired during their career. And with this wallet, they can, for example, request specific perks like, well, I want to have the office with two windows and the oak desk. And not because they are the loudest alpha in the room, but they have worked hard for this in the past. Or if they get a call from a headhunter and are asked for their potential new salary to make the move, they can just pass on details about what's in their wallet and this, or in their confirmed wallet. And the salary can actually be calculated on the entire past experiences someone has made. I'm pretty sure that must be a billion dollar business idea. Can you either get me down back on the ground or elaborate on why this would be fantastic um, to get equal pay for every skills-based job in the world? So yeah, I, I, I love the idea and I think it's a nice metaphor. Um, but on the other hand, the world is a little bit more complex than than um, the blockchain. So if we if we look at the skills picture in general, and if we take a look at the wallet for the employee who can collect skills, then this is clearly something which makes sense. On the other hand, you need to ask yourself the question, who is verifying the skills? Um, and what kind of actions can you do in order to make sure that you have the skill and you have a certain level of the skill? Because the level is also very important. Um, based on that, it could be a rating from your manager. It could be a training which you have completed. It could be a rating from a trainer which you received after you did a program or a certification. It could be verified work experience. So we need to make sure that we really get a big picture of how the um, skill set of an employee looks like. And I think what the machine can do for us is one side of things. But we are still uh, working in talent management and in the HR. So I believe the second side of things is um, the connection between people and the personal assumption. So I think it goes very much together that we have an idea which skills an employee can have, that we take a look from all different perspectives, like my personal view, the view of my manager, the view of my manager's manager or colleagues, for example, and then ultimately take a look at how am I performing in my job? What am I doing? Where do I want to go? Um, my personal preferences. And um, I think we need to bring all of this together. And I think it's very difficult to calculate a career path because you can go left and right. But compared to the way we did it in the past, this new functionality and this new approach gives, a, gives you so many more opportunities that you can understand new ways of where you can go new skills, which might be interesting for you, uh, new trainings, which you potentially can take. And for me, this is a very exciting um, yeah, idea to think about. And it's very exciting also to show it to our clients and to, to, to our prospects to, to see like where this whole thing is going. And um, that, that's kind of my take. Great. Thank you so much, Thorsten. And I think those uh, last words really capture all of it. Like, of course, we can have the AI powered skills uh, engine of some sort um, or the entire learning management systems and whatnot. But of course, there always needs to be human interaction uh, from different sides to, to make it all work. And that's what human resources, the name says it all, um, is all about. And yeah, thanks for your time and looking forward to the next one. <laughs> thanks a lot, Rob. Take care. <laughs> bye, bye.